Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll show you how I recovered this brown mannequin. Originally, this mannequin was white, plain white, without the head, and then I think in 2018, I recovered that mannequin into grey fabric and I added the head. And now I have recovered it again. So I have added like kind of like a skin tone, light brown fabric. I will show you videos how I made the pattern, how I sewed and how I re um, recovered this mannequin. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe this channel. I will appreciate that a lot. Mwah. I'll show you how I created a pattern for my brown mannequin. I'm removing this old cover off this mannequin. I removed the head, removed the paints of the neck and now I'm removing the paints of the bottom of the mannequin. So I have removed all of the paints, now I'm removing this cover off this mannequin. Now I'm removing this cover off this head. I'm unpicking the back seam and I'm removing that cover off this head. Now I'm tracing this grey pattern of this brown fabric. I'm laying down this mannequin's body pattern on this brown fabric and cutting it out. I'm cutting slightly longer so I can tuck it under the mannequin. Now I'm cutting the head pattern in half and I'm cutting these two pattern pieces out of this brown fabric. Now sewing. I'm sewing together these two pattern pieces front and back and I'm sewing two side seams on this pattern. I'm using overlooking machine to attach back and front template and it looks like that. Nice and strong, sewed with the overlooking seam. And now I'm ironing those two side seams nice and flat. Next, I will be overlooking the hem on this pattern all around like that. Also, I'm using overlooking machine. This is how it looks after it's been overlooked. Now I'm folding the hem approximately 1.5 centimeters on the left side and I'm ironing, ironing it flat. And I will be sewing the top stitch all around the hemline. Like, like that. And I'm leaving a little opening open there for the elastic. Now I'm cutting the elastic for my hemline. Like that. And I'm pulling that elastic onto my hemline. And I'm making a little knot at the end. Now my uh, my mannequin's body pattern is finished, and I'm putting that pattern on the mannequin, and I'm flattening out all of the seams. Well, basically both side seams. I'm flattening it out, and I am pulling the elastic under hem right there, and I pulled it quite tight, and I'll be cutting the excess elastic off. So my mannequin's body pattern is done and finished. I've pinned down the neck excess fabric inside in a neckline and next I'll sew the head pattern cover. And first I'll be attaching these two patterns and I'll be attaching the front seam of the pattern there. So now I'm overlocking that front seam of the head pattern like that and I'm putting that head pattern on the head and I'm pinning that pattern on the head. So basically I sew the front seam of the head pattern and now I am pinning three seams at the back of the head 
like that so basically two back side seams and back central seam so I'm pinning roughly like a same distance between three seams like that and that's the front that's the back and I'm cutting the excess fabric off and I'll be sewing these three seams together except the back seam the back central seam I will leave a little bit open so I can put this cover on the head like that so three seams are sewed and the back central seam is a little bit open now I'm putting the cover on the head like that and I'm pinning the neckline down so it's nice and secure like that so that's the front that's the back pinning all of the excess fabric to the neckline and now I'm sewing together that opening at the back center So now it's finished front seam and three back seams as you can see here. Now I'm attaching the head to the mannequin. Basically I'm sewing the neckline so I'm sewing the head neck to the mannequin's body neck together with invisible stitch. So now the head is attached to the mannequin. Next, I'm painting the mannequin's base with this brown color paint. And I'm painting twice, so I have given two coats to this mannequin's base. Ta-da! And here's finished mannequin. I purchased this mannequin and the head online. I will add the links down below on description. And here's the photo before and after. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions how I recovered and uh, added this head on this mannequin, please comment down below on the comment box. And on my next video, I'll show you how I add all of these measurement guidelines. I'll see you next time.